What we have entered is basically an age where a single human mind cannot comprehend the data that we are gathering about the universe. And this is true in any field you now encounter. It is true in biology. No biologist can sort of uh, can reason and analyze all the biological data that has been gathered. No physicist can sort of look at and analyze all the high energy physics data that uh, is being gathered. Um, and even sort of mathematicians cannot sort of look and analyze all the sort of um, uh, large scale mathematical simulation data. And I think what's what's happened is basically we AI is not sort of uh, nice to have. It's basically a, almost a necessity for us to make sense and reason about uh, any problem that we are now looking at. I have examples like in, in pure mathematics where concepts in, uh, for example, topology, not theory, and you describe a knot in two different uh, sort of definitions. There is an algebraic definition and there is a geometric definition. And mathematicians understood these characterizations, but never understood the connections between that, right? And what we showed in one of our sort of works is basically we generated a lot of data for uh, for knots in these two characterizations. And somehow, and we asked the neural network, can you make predictions about one characterization from the other? And the idea was, well, the answer should be no. But in fact, it could make predictions. And when we really sort of, uh, uh, when we drill down, we found a very nice conjecture that nobody had sort of encountered. And, uh, and we work with mathematicians who then make a conjecture, and not only make that conjecture, but actually prove that there was a very elegant, nice uh, relationship between those two characterizations. So this is like completely fundamental discoveries in mathematics that were not un that were completely unknown to, to mathematicians now being uncovered by a machine learning and AI model. And you you are we are seeing this across the board in any of the scientific areas that we are looking at. We are discovering new insights, uh, uh, new sort of patterns that were not expected. Uh, just because uh, the, the techniques to analyze the, the raw scale of data did not exist. Yeah, I think amongst biologists, especially maybe 10 years ago and, and further back, I think there was often a belief that biology is just so complex that it, it's just incomprehensible, that there's no way to even understand it, there's no way to try to understand it. The only thing you can do is run the experiment and see what happens. Uh, and I think we're seeing the beginning of a shift where people are starting to think, well, you know, there are complexities and there's a lot we don't know, a uh, lot to learn, but that um, AI actually can gather all that together and start to decipher this and to be a natural language for biology. And I think there's going to be this really fun cultural shift where 10 years ago, people would say, oh, it's ridiculous. A computer could try to do these things. I think 10 years from now, people will be like, Oh, it's ridiculous to have a human being do that. Like, how, you can't like load all these numbers in your head. That's just that's just ridiculous to even say that. And you know, we've seen this in other places, like chess. Like, you know, it seemed like impossible that a computer could beat a grandmaster, and then now there's not even worth trying. I, I think that's just a cultural shift. But I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, you know, a forklift can lift much more than the strongest weightlifter. And we view that as a positive thing. It's always going to be us and them. And I think the interesting question will be is once it can do these things that we can't do, well, what do we do together with it?